Hey there, welcome to Life Noggin. In today's video, we discuss the psychological trauma that parents can inflict on their children. Topics like emotional abuse and neglect will be discussed. Please do not continue watching if you are triggered by any of these topics. Abuse can come in many forms, all of which can have dire consequences. While it's less acknowledged than others, the most common form of abuse experienced by children is emotional abuse and neglect, occurring in 36% and 52% of child maltreatment cases. These fall under the category of psychological maltreatment, which the American Academy of Pediatrics has called the most challenging and prevalent form of child abuse and neglect. Psychological maltreatment can appear in many different ways, some more subtle than others, but overall they cause the same effect, robbing the child of their basic psychological needs of safety, socialization, support, stimulation, and respect. The American Professional Society of the Abuse of Children has identified five ways in which caregivers cause this type of harm. Through spurning, caregivers reject or degrade the child by saying mean things or shaming them. This can be done verbally or non-verbally. Terrorizing includes any behavior that threatens to harm the child or the child's loved ones or possessions. Caregivers can also exploit or corrupt the child by encouraging inappropriate behaviors such as criminal acts or being antisocial. They can also be emotionally unresponsive by not showing affection or love for the child, or isolate them consistently and unreasonably, not letting them interact with other people, either inside or outside their home. This can also include limiting the child's movement within the home, like confining them to their room. They can also neglect the child's mental health, medical, and educational needs by either refusing or failing to provide necessary treatments. Because it directly impacts a child's development, psychological maltreatment can cause a broad array of harmful effects that can last throughout life. If it occurs during the first three years of life, these effects could be even worse because of how much and how fast the brain and other biological systems grow during this time. Its consequences are seen in their mental and emotional health, socialization, education, and even physical health. One major impact is on relationships. Because of the harmful behavior they receive from their caregivers, children become untrusting of others and have difficulty forming healthy attachments, which can continue into adulthood. Their stress response system may also not develop properly because they were constantly under stress throughout childhood. This can cause them to have a big, overblown response like rapid breathing or shutting down to what most would consider only a minor stressor. If you or someone you know has experienced emotional abuse or neglect, you should seek help right away. If you live in the US or Canada, call or text the National Child Abuse Hotline anytime at 1-800-4-A-CHILD. That's 1-800-422-4453 for information on free help in your area. Or visit their website here. Nobody should be treating you badly, especially the people that are supposed to be taking care of you. Are there any other sensitive issues that you want us to cover? Let me know in the comment section below. As always, my name is Blocko. This has been Life Noggin. Don't forget to keep on thinking.